everyone, and welcome to the final episode. What will I be reviewing? Well, let me get this off my chest first. The reason why I have not been showing that much anger in episode 4 is because I'm not allowed to show anger. I'm not allowed to be super loud. This is not my house. Otherwise, I would have bitten Sora's head off. I would have drawn Sora's head, and I would have actually bitten it off and went, you know, more louder, humorous fashion. But sadly, that is not the case. So, what will I be reviewing now? You've all been waiting for it. Mario and Luigi's Bowser's Inside Story. I gotta say, guys, when I played this game and I bit it, I was a bit disappointed. Let's get into why. Graphics. No complaints. Feels like every character has unlimited sprites, and it just flows so goddamn well. I like Bowser's design this time around. I mean, he kind of looks a little slack jawed in Mario and Luigi when he's like. Okay, what's that? Now, actual characters. Mario and Luigi is basically the same. Bowser, I love Bowser's personality. He's like all mean and dickish, but he's a little bit of a softy inside. Like when Chippy, I like Chippy too, or what their actual name, Starlo. When she's like, come on, Bowser, apologize. And Bowser's like, and she's like, come on. And she's like, fine. Hello, goodbye. And she leaves, and Bowser's like, I, please, please, I'm sorry, I'm just an asshole turtle that, like, captures the princess, like, every time. I'm, I'm sorry, it's how I was raised. I was picked on in third grade. I mean, that's not what actually really happens, and that was probably really lame. But it sort of happens, come on. And the giant Bowser and the giant Bowser fights, I'm not gonna talk about that much. It's just there's four of them, and I really like the way they flowed. Except when my um touch screen didn't work the way I wanted it to, and it went okay and I went, oh no. I can't show the action. Now Fawful. I did not like Fawful. He felt like a stripped away character of his original self from Mario and Luigi. I mean, his dialogue was there, he talked the same, and I have chortles, but I have chortles just didn't have the same effect as I have fury. I don't know why, it, just, it didn't strike me as great. And his dialogue didn't strike me as great either. It's like, he talks the same, of course, but there's no wit, real wit behind it. I just didn't feel the wit there. I'm sorry, I just don't like Fawful in this game. Not as much as I did in the first one. He's not as epic, he's... Okay, he's a little bit epic, but he's not as funny or comical or witty as he used to be. And apparently he's a mad scientist, according to the book. I don't even know what the fuck happened there. In fact, the only thing that really got a chuckle out of me in this game was the freaking doctor. You know, the doctor in the clinic. Like, he was actually kind of funny, and I enjoyed that part only in the actual storyline. And it also made me sad that there was no chuckle beans. I mean, there were beans. Heart beans, power beans. But no chuckle beans to unhearingly scream at for no reason. But that's besides the point. The storyline was kind of basic. Bowser gets tricked, eats a mushroom, sucks everybody inside his belly. Ultimate blowjob of their life. Everybody's stuck inside. Eventually get out. Well, you'd have to play the game, really. I mean, I don't know if to spoil it or not, and I don't want to spend the time talking about a story that really doesn't matter. Combat system. For Mario and Luigi, it's the same, except they got these items that are really cool. Like, using the skills in this game is really fun. I especially like the barrel one and the magic mirror one. For some reason, I like the Luigi one because, you know, the one where Luigi goes super fat because it teaches me one thing. That obesity is wrong. That America is wrong for making obese people. And it's obese people who think they're funny who go on stage like Larry the Cable Guy. And it's not funny at all and makes me a little bit dead inside. Yes. Totally irrelevant. Anyway, they're fun to do, but the lack of Ch Chopper Brothers makes it so I can't kill every enemy in one hit with the masturbation finger. I mean, I wanted to do this, but I couldn't. 
thing and I'm kind of happy I couldn't kill every enemy in one hand because if everybody remembers that was kind of a cool trick in the in the playthrough but when you're actually playing and you're killing everything in one hand you're like Ugh. Bowser's combat system is also I love Bowser's combat system and he uses the touch screen for his special attacks I don't know it just feels cool that you're like this big badass that's stronger than Mario and Luigi and you just beat the crap out of things, or shield yourself with the bother. I love tapping Goombas. Mm -mm, tapping them all day long. They really burn up when I do it. And I like the fact that for some enemies, you can suck them in and then Mario Luigi can fight them. But that mechanic is not used enough. It really is not. Um, really, that kind of screwed up a few boss fights for me because it just felt really generic. Um, and I guess that's it. The music is great and terrible at the same time. All of Bowser's battle music is just sort of boring, except his giant. When he's giant, I love the music when he's giant, but that's about it. And for Mario Luigi, their battle music and their boss music is both fun. Especially that epic part that goes dun 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 dun. And the, and the final boss music is great. Speaking of the final boss, I'm sorry guys, that was really disappointing. Um, after kicking question mark, question mark, question mark that, because I'm not going to spoil it, unless you guys already looked at it, um, you fight Fossil, of course he's the final boss, and I know for a fact that he can come out of question mark, question mark, question mark's body, but for some reason, I managed to beat him before he could really fast too. All I kept doing was the barrel move and then the star move and he fucking went down like nothing. It was terrible. And dude, I'm Bowser was level 29 and Mario Luigi was at level 31. Maybe that's too high a level. I don't know. But then again, for the secret bosses, the X bosses, I even went to fight the Dark Star X who's at level 40. I went and fought him with my current Mario Brothers. Oh, wait a second. Was it Bowser's level 31 and both Mario Brothers were at level 29? No, it was the Mario Brothers that I had at level 29 and Bowser at level 31. The thing is, I was able to handle the Dark Star and do a lot of damage to him after a while, but I couldn't kill him because of the, ta because of the turn thing. The point is, is that this game was not a challenge. I mean, in any way, shape, or form. I just wanted a little more out of this. So, what I got out of the game, and I'm not talking just about difficulty, I mean like everything from the drowned out diluted humor, and I mean the dilu diluted humor, sorry, diluted, to the fact that the com that combat now feels easy and empty, and traveling around in Bowser's body is not fun. It's annoying. Really, all that shit you do in his body is annoying. I'm being serious with this review too, guys. I really am this time. There is no comedy behind this. Maybe. It's just... Really, it's not there. I, there wasn't even chuckle beans. I mean, I'm, I mean, there's beans. I, mean, I was happy when I saw beans, but when I didn't see a chuckle bean, I didn't get to go, Ah, chuckle bean! Unless I already said that. I've done like three takes of this review, and now I don't even know what the fuck I was talking about anymore. In any case, I give the game a B minus, a little under Kingdom Hearts. Now, before you guys go, oh, you did the Kingdom Hearts fanboy, you good, you what? Well, you know what? I gave Super Robot Tyson the A. So, Super Robot Tyson is the winner! Go play it, it's fun.